Evening folks, and uh, this is my latest watch acquisition. It's a Persister PRS30 bronze watch. And the reason I bought this is I'm very interested in um, the pattern on the bronze and what effects can be achieved through various treatments. So I'm going to try some of those out. Um, the reason I bought this particular model of bronze watch um, is made by a company called Time Factors, who um, run the TZ forums, which is a great watch forum. And um, I think it represents a really good quality watch and really good value as well. So it's a solid bronze case with uh, also a bronze crown, a screw on stainless steel back. It's 100 meter water resistant and um, it's got a kind of a little bit of a homage look to the Panerais. Um, but it's got these Roman numerals, which is this is a, a dark brown sandwich dial with a super luminova thing underneath it so these are actually holes cut into the dial um, the um, the bronze would have originally looked something like that a sort of gold color um, but this one which is not quite a year old yet has uh, has already developed a bit of a patina into that it's going a lovely brown color and you can see on the back on there where it's been close to the skin it's got even darker um, so yes, I'm quite interested in seeing what I can do with the pattern on this watch. Um, and probably the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to probably experiment on the buckle. buckle. As you can see, it's got a little bit of a mark there from something. I don't know what. Um, and I think the reason the buckle's got less pattern on it than the, the main case is because this strap probably hasn't been worn with it. it. It did come with some other straps. So yeah, I'm going to start by... Um, treating this buckle and trying to get it back to uh, new. Um, I'm not going to do that with the watch just yet because I, I think it takes quite a while to develop this patina and I just want to make sure I, I know what I'm doing before I start treating the whole watch. Um, so that's my plan. Um, the watch itself, as I said, it's a solid bronze watch with an ETA 2824-2 top grade movement in it and it's got a, uh, a domed sapphire crystal on it. Um, and I'm very pleased with it, I must say. Anyway, I'll, uh, I'll keep you updated as to uh, my exploits with uh, the pattern on this watch. I hope you've enjoyed this. Cheerio.